after a period of rising tension and with war imminent, first British Corps deploys for battle. There was no formal declaration of war, but none was expected. Almost immediately, the enemy crossed the border. They were engaged at once by our covering forces. Their task? To delay and cause maximum disruption to the enemy, while our main positions are prepared and occupied. Their job done, the covering forces are now withdrawing through our main defensive positions. The sappers are completing their tasks, blowing bridges and cratering tracks. The latest zip reps are passed to a forward battle group headquarters. Lost contact, 600 metres north of Zulu Tango 5562. Yes, that's right. Hello, Golf 2-2, this is 3, grid 733644, moving vehicles, over. Golf 2-2, roger. Fire mission battery. Uh, oh, 2, this is 2-2, two, two. fire mission battery, over. At my command, three rounds, fire for effect. A three, moving PT-76. At my command, three rounds, fire for effect, over. Fire. Fire over. Who's up? Shut up. End of mission. PT seventy six is withdrawing. End of mission. PT seventy six is withdrawing. Over. Roger that call, thank you. Yeah, that looks like the initial recce, so if they think they know where we are, I should imagine they'll um, put in a probing attack fairly shortly. Hello, Zero. This is three. I'm now being shelled, over. Roger. Roger. Well, it certainly looks as if uh, Charlie Company's going to cop it first. Uh, what's the gun state, Tony? We have eight batteries in action and in range, Colonel. My adjustment is complete, and three eight batteries are loaded and laid on the FPF we discussed last night. Good. Hello, Zero, this is 2-2, two, two, a shell rep over. Hello, Zero, this is 2-2, two, two, a shell rep over. Go check the repos.
over 15 minutes, the forward combat teams have been subjected to intense bombardment. Disrupting communications, damaging equipment, neutralizing our own direct fire weapons, and causing casualties. Set up. Tony! You right? Yeah, okay, Frank. Alright, Okay! Okay! Alright, Tom! Alright, Odi! Alright, sir, just check on Jim Peter Edge. Roger, Global Carter. Alright. Have you seen those tanks over there? Yes. Just approaching one of our DFs, Sulu Tango. 2066. I'll engage them when I get there. Bombs three batteries. Hello, oh, three. This is three, two. Contact now at grid seven, two, four, six, six, one. A Zulu Tango 2066. Direction five, eight hundred. A Zulu Tango 2066. Direction five, eight hundred. Platoon plus one troop. T62s. A three round fire perfect. Over. Shot out. Probing attack defeated. The enemy next mounts a deliberate attack in regimental strength. Fire mission division. Hello, Zero and Charlie Charlie One. This is 2 2. Fire mission division, over. Who's up? Azulu uniform 2067 at my command. Azulu uniform 2067 at my command. Over. Fire. Shot out. the divisional artillery on defensive fire tasks, some 150 shells a minute. Enemy infantry still press on. FPF fire. Hello, Golf 2 2. This is India 3. FPF fire over. Golf 2 2. We'll go. Uh, fire mission battery. Over 2. This is 2 2. Fire mission battery over. Push up. FPF fire. FPF fire over. Push up. Shot out. Thank you. 
Lozier, this is three, a sit rep. The enemy now appear to be withdrawing from my location northwards. I can see at least four hulks from my position, and we'll send the full sit rep in figure five, over. The attack has been halted, with heavy casualties on both sides. The enemy attaches great importance to the effects of his own artillery. We must do the same. By sheer weight of fire, morale is lowered. Observation and movement hindered. Control disrupted. And weapons become less effective. Although direct hits on armor will be few, the damage to external fittings and optics will degrade their capabilities still further. These are the neutralization effects of artillery. On APCs, near misses by artillery, particularly of medium and heavy caliber, can cause significant vehicle and crew casualties. Dismounted infantry, caught in the open, will have little chance. These are the destructive effects of artillery. However, troops in well-dug-in positions should survive. Artillery fire can be provided by day or night, and in all weathers, for close support or depth fire tasks. Massed artillery.